Hello, up here again for another video. Hopefully, find something good today. The wind's up a bit, so I will shout a little bit. I may be shouting for no reason at all at the moment, but it is gone very windy. It's gone a lot cooler, and we've had plenty of rain. So, I'm hoping this probably isn't. It's gone a little bit softer than it has been because it has been rock hard. It's been an absolute nightmare to get the signal. It's getting up now. I've got my friends to play with. The rest of the game. I'm going to go down the backfields there and see what I can get. Right, let's get started. Hopefully, you can hear me over this wind. Little signal, three inches down, signal of 56. It's another one of these. I would love to know what they are. I don't know if it's a part of firing equipment or it's just decorative. Off. I don't know. I don't know what they are. I've dug a few of these out up here now. Uh, I don't know. I'll keep going. Nice to find them anyway. Another signal about three inches down, giving a signal of 81. Out pop this. I'm not sure what it is. It's heavy. I'm not sure if it's lead or not. I'm not sure. But I've never come across an object like this up here before. Is nice. Nice unknown item. <laughs> but yeah, it's got some age to it. I'm not sure what it is. That is a good weight. Alright, I'll carry on. Any ideas you guys? Any thoughts? Be interesting. Another signal, again about three inches down, uh, around about 75 this time, and another similar item. Strange. Not as heavy as the one, nowhere near as heavy. Bit weird how literally just there a moment ago I had that other one, and this has just popped out literally feet away. Strange. Another signal about three inches down. Signal of 68. I think it's a little mouse here. It's an unusual shape though, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I can't see markings on it, but it's cool. Let's carry on. Another signal, signal of 51, about three inches down, and these all popped out. Metal detector went absolutely mad. I've no idea what they are. Cartridge. Very strange, not sure what they are. Another signal, signal of 82, about three inches down again. It's a D-shaped bottle. Not sure if it's that old, could be off uh, horses harness, but it's a buckle. Let's keep going. Another signal, a signal of 61. You can still see it in there. 
It's a koi. At that time. Get that clean up, see what it is. Signal of 67, it was about three inches down. It's a button, but just to make out, it's a military button. So, I'm pleased for that. Always like finding these type of buttons. There's a few up there. Another signal, signal 61 this time, and I'll pop this. Excuse me and my gloves. I'm not buying cheap gloves off eBay ever again. I've only worn them twice. Look at that. Right, back to this. Sorry about the wind as well if you can hear it. That, to me, is a folded coin. Not sure what it is yet. I'll take a close look and try and find out what it is. Right, let's carry on. Another signal. Signal of 77. It's got to be a button, but... Cool. This open because this soil, even though we've had all this rain, is rock hard. Bear with me a second. God, blimey! I've never known anything like it. It's like digging through concrete. It is unreal. Wow. Look at that. It's got some age to that one. Please for that. Ah, carry on. Right. I've never done this before, but I'd like to do a few shout outs. I'll keep going with this because I think it's a good idea to uh, find other people's um, metal detecting sites. There are many good ones out there. There's a few I'd like to mention. Gavin McMahon, over in Northern Ireland. Never thought he would find a hammered. Now he has. With plenty more badder bing out there. If you want to see his badder bing, go to his YouTube channel. Gavin McMahon, excellent bloke. Uh, really interesting videos. He always makes them very interesting, whatever he finds. And some of the stuff he's finding is great. Uh, Hans of Terra Germinania in Germany. Hope I've got that right, Hans. Hans does an excellent metal detecting hunts. Beautifully produced and great finds. Check out his channel. Hans does his videos in English and they are excellent. So that is worth a visit. So that's uh, Terra Germi Germinania. Hope I've got that right. And of course, Dave of Relic Hunt in Scotland. I'm pretty sure you must have seen one of his videos. If you've not, where have you been? You must go and check them out. It's a great YouTube channel and he produces hundreds of videos. I don't know how he does it or finds the time, but he does. He's absolutely obsessed with the hobby, hobby and I love it too, but how on earth he fits in time to do those massive digs of his is amazing, but they are brilliant. Um, he's recently found um, his first uh, gold Victorian half sovereign. Well done, Dave. It was fantastic find. I hope you keep going and find some more. And over the pond, for some funny entertainment and some great metal detecting, check out uh, ECT Treasure Hunters. They are East Coast Treasure Hunters. They're a couple of brothers that do some fantastic videos. Really, really funny guys. 
Uh, they make me laugh and they're a great pair. Uh, they give back some great prizes when they have competitions. Uh, they're just brilliant at entertaining and finding some excellent finds. And uh, it makes you want to go out and metal detect as well. So that's my shy tats for now. I'll carry on. I'm currently using a monopod on my camera. I'm hoping that when I find a decent find, instead of just digging it and showing you what I've dug out afterwards, I should be able to show you what I'm digging this time. As long as I find something decent to show you, I'll have it all set up and ready. We'll see. Right, let's carry on. Another signal. Only about three, four inches down. Give me a signal of 72, and you can see it right there. See the imprint. It's another one of these. <laughs> they do look like little musket shots or mini musket balls until you turn it over. And they're hollow. It may be off some kind of decoration off furniture, but <laughs> when you see them in the ground like that, you think, whoa. Uh, still a good find. I'm not sure what it is. It's hollow. I've had a couple of these out here now. Let's crack on. I'm not sure what it is. Any of you guys know? Let me know, please. I'm going to do a live one. Let's see what we've got. Give me a signal of 62. It'll be trash. You watch. No, you can see it there, not. There we go. Looks like um, part of uh, an umbrella. That clips on the end of the umbrella and where it folds out. There you go. Let's carry on. Right, another signal. This one's giving us a signal of 63. Can just about see that there. Well, not sure what that is. Give that a clean up. And take a look at it later. Right, let's carry on. Another signal, about three inches down, get a signal of 63. This soil around here is rock hard. Well, that was like a shield to me. Still got a bit of colour in it. Well, a little bit. Alright, nice little find. Let's crack on. Yes, I've just dug this hole here and said I found a shield. No, no. It's a spoon. There's part of the handle that just came out as well, just after I did the video. And that's obviously the main part of the spoon. A shield. I'll learn. 
I'll get there eventually. Let's carry on. In the clouds. Two signals here. That's high eighties. This one of those. Combination of irons and then it shoots up to 79. So I'll dig both of these. Let's see what we find. Right, two hole dug. First one that's given me the mixed signal of rubbish and a decent signal. I'm not sure what that is. It's like a lump of burnt metal to me. So I can't see anything much about that one. And this one, that is a good, you see from here, 10 inches down. And right down there. Yes, that's come out. That was giving a signal of 89. It's like a plaque. I have to get that clean up and see what it is. Could be off the back of a tractor or something like that, I don't know yet. It could be off a plaque for a door, I don't know. It was a good way down that was, so I'll clean it up and see what it is. Alright, let's crack on. stallion munching away on his hay with his Harry Potter straw. Spooky. Another signal. Signal 76. About three inches down. Like a piece of lead. You can see a little nib on it there. Well, that's been flattened. Right, let's carry on. Well, signal of 79, literally two inches down. How it pops that? I don't think it's got that much age to it. I was going to say clock winder, but I don't think it is. <laughs> it's a bit on the chunky side for that. I should have caught it there with a the spade a little bit. Interesting one. Quite some weight to it. I'm not sure what it could be. Right, carry on. Another signal, signal of 54, about three inches down. I don't do a live dig, and what do I find? Look at that. That's superb. It's a little lead rifle and there is some detail on that i need to give it a good clean but that is gorgeous i really like that that is great i'll give it a clean up later and show you that's a lovely find that is really chuffed with that all right let's keep going Woohoo!
Hello, this is my roundup. The last few days, what I've been finding. All sorts of bits and pieces. <coughs> Again, the eye. They're the ones that give off funny signals. You have to dig down. You never know what's going to be there. Some hot rocks. Quite a few this time. Other bits and pieces. Dado rail hook. Keep finding these. I've still no idea what they are. Completely hard. Old rings. Carpet hooks. And these, I think they're cartridges. But they all came out in a couple of digs. They're all stamped with a E on the bottom. So I'm not sure if... I presume they're cartridges, but... Stamped with an E. Never seen that before. And they're quite small. As you can see. Spoon. That's an old, old spoon, that one. Again, no idea what that is. And that. It's a really old wheel, lead wheel. Really old. Uh, I'd like to know what this is. That is heavy. I'd love to know what that is. And have a similar one next to it. That again. I thought it's got like a, a shot, but it's not because it's hollow. I found a couple of these now, a bit strange. I'm not sure what that is. Caught it with the spade, unfortunately. Bit of a weird one. Uh, looks like a lead seal, not quite finished off. And that looks like, looks like a lead seal been splattered. You can see where the tip was there. So it's hit, been splattered or hitting something hard. Uh, other bits and pieces. I think that was completely folded. I'm not sure if it's a coin or not. It's very thin. There's no pattern or anything there on it to work out what it could be, so I'm not sure. Unrecognisable coin. And a load of buttons. Nice military one there. D buckle. Draw handle. Some clips from where the horses were kept being used. And other various bits and pieces, loads of lead. I don't know if that's an old uh, radiator key <laughs> or it's actually like a, a clock winder or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's fairly big and that is heavy too. And other bits and pieces. I keep digging shells out of the field. Really weird. But these shells keep coming out. Only one part of the field these come out of. And there's quite a lot. And I'll just show you how small these things are. Each one of those is a find. This T2 is amazing. It will find a little tiny particle in the ground, 8 inches down. And that's what it is. You have to dig it, you never know what it is, but it just shows you how powerful these two T2s are. Excellent pieces of kit. But this has to be my favourite find. That is absolutely gorgeous. That looks like a little musket or a rifle. That is beautiful. Really, really pleased with that. Right, well that's my roundup. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope to be back out again soon and get some more finds. Bye for now.